Okay, so I'm going to give you some instructions for lab three. So you are going to need two variables that you feel are correlated. So each of these lines here will be the same person asking two answering two questions or um, a date and what happened on that date. In the past, I've had students, like in the spring, I had students use um, the days after we got our first infection in the United States um, of COVID and the number of cases that we have. I've had people use height and shoe size. I've had people um, use things like um, hours a week they work versus number of cu cups of coffee they drink a week or um, hours of work they um, hours of week they work versus number of days they exercise. It could be um, oh I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole bunch of ideas, but they kind of disappeared. It could be something like um, number of years in school and income. I don't know if you'd be able to get that um, from your friends, but you might be able to get that from looking online. And there's you can find the information online. You can ask friends on social media, whatever you need to do, but try to get 20 data points. Okay, so I think you can answer all of these questions yourself. I'm just going to show you how to get the scatter plot with the trend line. So I'm going to highlight, so I have attendance and exam scores. So the percent of classes somebody attended versus their exam scores. These are actual, this is final exams, and these are actual numbers. Okay, let me highlight and then insert, and I'm going to choose this graph right here. Whoops, that's not what I'm choosing. I'm choosing this one right here. I'm choosing a scatter plot, and I'm going to choose that scatter plot right there. I'm going to put it up here and make it look pretty. Fit it into the table. It's a nice, pretty scatter plot. But I need this to have some labels. So I'm going to go over Add Chart Element. Up at the top right-hand corner is Add Chart Element. I want to label my axes, so Chart Titles. I want to have, okay, I already have that above it. I need um, axis titles, primary horizontal, and do that again, axis title, primary vertical. So I can type in um, exam score in percent. Make this as big or as small as you want. You can change color, all sorts of things you can do. It's still not big enough. Let's make it bigger so I can see it. This axis title is going to be attendance um, okay that's a little bit big and I'm gonna say attendance versus final exam it's not beautiful. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what we do here. Okay. I still need, I want a trend line on here. So that is something that is required. We need to put a trend line on here. So once again, I click on the graph. Oops, click on my table. And do, 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 do. Okay. And add chart element. And I'm going to go to trend line. So we are only doing linear because we're looking for linear regression. I only want linear. You can play with it a little more to see if you can get a better regression from exponential or um, some other type. However, all I'm looking for in this lab is linear. I want to see if your data is linear. Now, once again, you can make this prettier. You can um, uh, 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 you can change its color. You can make it fatter. Okay, let me see here. I want my dash type. I want it to be a solid line. And I want it to be reddish color. Okay. I actually would like my... It doesn't matter. Anyway, so I can make it wider if I want it wider. Okay. So another thing that we need here with my line, I want to have a display R squared value. I'm going to put the equation in the R squared. You don't necessarily need to have the 
um, equation on there, but I like to have that equation on there. Oh, it says to do equation. I lied. So do equation and r squared value. The way that I got this to open, the way that I got this to open was I just double clicked on here and it opened up. The other way to get that to open is when you're on the chart elements up here, add trend line when you click on linear. Sorry, add trend line when it says more trend line options, this will open. Okay, so now you can see that. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Let's just make this whole thing a little bit bigger here so you can see what's going on. So as you may recall from the um, from the instructions, we don't want the R squared. We don't want R squared. That's not what we're looking for. The R squared is not our correlation coefficient. That is not what we're looking for. We need to take the square root of the R squared in order to get our, in order to get the correlation coefficient. So I'm just going to type that in here. Type that in there. And I'm going to put it in here equals square root of 0 0.6702. And that gives me a correlation coefficient. Make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. My correlation coefficient here is 0 0.818657. So that's a pretty decent positive correlation between attendance and grade on the final exam. And I actually have found this to be true. I've done this math several times with my students um, in middle school and in high school and college. And it is almost always a pretty strong correlation. So you're going to have to answer the question here, um, talking about the association between your two variables. Make sure that you reference this correlation coefficient when you are talking about that. And of course, you need to talk about what your population is. So my population here would have been um, my class of Math 243 students. And it's a certain class, but I'm not going to say which one. Um, what are the variables you're studying? This is all information we have talked about before, how and where you got your data. So that is Lab 3. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.